A car accident sparked a 100-acre vegetation fire in the East Bay, and Cronfors Mike Pelton is now in Clayton. He has the latest. Well, Marty, new containment numbers within the past hour. Cal Fire has reduced the size of the fire down from 125 acres down to 80 acres and 80% containment. They tell me the daylight has given them a better look and a more accurate look at the size of the burn area. Now, you were looking at essentially where this fire sparked last night around 10 o'clock. As you see, PG&E crew still here on the scene repairing and replacing one of the power poles along Marsh Creek Road. Officials say the driver of a car slammed into the power pole around 10 o'clock last night. There were only minor injuries to some of the four people inside the car, but this this sparked a fire that sent flames shooting 20 to 30 feet into the air. Officials tell me the downed power lines sparked a grass fire and it quickly spread to dry brush that sent the flames racing up the hillside north of Marsh Creek Road. Cal Fire crews worked throughout the night and into the morning to contain the blaze, telling me it's the same old story this fire season. The drought led to lots of dry brush, which means even small fires can spread very quickly. It is. It's a recipe uh, that we've been talking about all, all year long, basically, with the drought and the dry fuels. Uh, we are approaching our record low in the last eight years uh, that we've been sampling our fuels in this area for the record low that we've ever been at. And fire officials temporarily evacuated about 20 people from five different homes up on the hillside. They've since been let back into their homes, and fire officials are applauding their efforts, telling me that all of those homes had cleared defensible space around the home, so the fire did spread up to a lot of the property lines, but did not spread to any buildings. That's the good news. Now, meanwhile, Marsh Creek Road remains closed between Deer Valley Road and Bragdon Way, and here you can see why. We're still awaiting PG&E crews to finish repairs and replacing that power pole. Once that happens, they can reopen Marsh Creek Road. The CHP hopes that will happen by about 10 o'clock this morning, uh, but just from looking at this, that appears to be a little optimistic, so don't be surprised if those closures linger into the afternoon. Marty. Okay, that's Mike Pelton reporting from Clayton.